Welcome to part one of chapter one, um, where we're going to talk a little bit about what physics is, and then just a little bit about what we're going to be covering this year in physics. Physics really is our, our attempt to think through and understand how the world and the universe work. It's taking the magic out of the world and putting in place our ability to comprehend what's happening. Um, it used to be called natural philosophy, and natural philosophy back then lumped together biology, math, chemistry, physics, architecture, everything got lumped into one. It's only recently, recently, in the last couple hundred years or so, that physics has become its own discipline. Um, in the early days, a number of the major contributors are people like Galileo. Right? Galileo was one of those along the way. Uh, well, back up, you know, the Greeks, a very long time ago, the Greeks began this process of can we understand the world around us, uh, at least in the Western world. There are other cultures where the same thing was going on independently. Um, Galileo, important. Galileo started to try and apply math to what he was seeing. Um, didn't do as good a job as you'd like, but, you know, he was beginning to get there. And then Newton. Newton stands out um, because Newton really was the first to pre create this cohesive mathematical description of what was going on. And in fact, to get there, Newton had to invent calculus. And so he had to invent a whole new branch of mathematics in order to really describe what's going on in physics. Now, we're not going to be using calculus in this course. Um, and so there are going to be times when I, uh, when, when we sort of wave our hands a little bit is the way I have to think of it. We wave our hands a little bit and say, don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. The man behind the curtain is calculus. Um, and so we have to keep everything in this course in the realm of algebra and trigonometry. Because of that, we won't always be able to completely explain why things are and why the relationships exist that are there. But um, we'll be able to give a good description of what's going on. So those are the, this is the sort of the, what are we after with physics? Um, Isaac Newton's Principia, his, uh, um, uh, his Principia was in the 1600s, was just one of those tour de force that laid out so much of what we know today. Um, so what are we going to call? What are we going to covering? Well, we're going to cover forces in motion, right? 1D kinematics, 2D kinematics. These are things that you actually have some intuition for, right? You have intuition for kinematics because you can throw and catch a ball. If you can throw and catch a ball, you know 2D kinematics. Now we're going to apply math to 2D kinematics, and you're going to have to tease out of your brain what it is your brain does when it solves the 2D kinematic equation to catch a ball, but we're going to go there. Um, we're going to look at Newton's laws, which have to do with force and gravity and a number of other things. We're going to study vectors some. Vectors are pretty cool. You know them, but you don't. So, And then gravity. Well, gravity took a long time to really kind of discover um, because it's, it's just everywhere and it acts on every single molecule of our body at once. Um, we're going to look at little, a little bit of Kepler's laws. Kepler applied mathematics to the motion of the planets. We've got thermodynamics. Ideal gas law, kinetic theory of gas, first and second law of thermodynamics, Carnot engines, and then work and energy. What is work and energy? What is energy conservation, momentum conservation? What is potential energy, kinetic energy? We'll be looking at all of those. Light and sound, oscillations and waves, hearing, the Doppler effect, Snell's law for lenses, um, and Snell's law for the refraction of light as it passes from one material to another. We'll look at electricity and magnetism, electric charge, electric field, Ohm's law, magnetic fields, motors and generators, and then we'll wrap up the year with atomic physics and nuclear physics, um, a little bit of quantum, a little bit of the wave particle duality. So we will see all of these before the year is done. All right, that's it for part one of chapter one. Um, come back for part two.